issues on the construction of the National Cathedral are getting murkier by the day, following accusations by the Member of Parliament for North Tong, Samuel Okujeto Aplakwa, of some 2.6 million Ghana cities being paid to a company owned by a board member of the cathedral, Reverend Victor Kusibwating, and a subsequent response from the National Cathedral Secretariat refuting the claims, there comes an even bigger challenge, one that questions the credibility of the Board of Trustees and the project. Founder and presiding bishop of the Lighthouse Group of Churches, Bishop Darkywood Mills, in a letter he wrote in June last year to the chairman of the Board of Trustees, raised concerns about the structure of the leadership of the cathedral, the cost of the project, design, mode of fundraising, among others. The bishop, who resigned from the Board of Trustees in August last year, further expressed disappointment in the board for ignoring concerns he raised in several letters he wrote to them. While the National Cathedral Secretariat has once again had to clear the air. In a statement, it said, among others, quote, no one leader can have all their preferences, methods and approaches accepted. Some would prefer to leave the trusteeship, unquote. The statement, however, failed to address some of the major concerns raised by Bishop Darkywood Mills in his letter. Meanwhile, the Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice, Shraj, has acknowledged receipt of a petition filed by North Tong MP Samuel Kujetu Aplakwa, citing allegations of conflict of interest against board member of the cathedral, Reverend Victor Kusibwating. Judith Awotritando, TV3 News.